Alright, what I did for the walk-in is I had a piece of, di depending on how weak your floor is, I had a piece of diamond plate cut a half inch shorter than the entire walk-in. I put a const little construction adhesive down the middle, dropped it on, evened it out. Then I had baseboard made with an, I think that was like a sixteenth of an inch, a little thinner diamond plate with an inch and a half overhang on the floor, went up about four or five inches on the wall. I put some clear roofing sealant down along the edge of the floor, mushed the baseboard down so I had that inch and a half on top of the floor and screwed it to the wall with self-tapping screws. Then I went back around and caulked the edge of where that inch and a half overlapping the floor met the floor. Then I also had a threshold made for the front. And I screwed that down in with concrete anchors, because our threshold has concrete below it, and had that overhang the inner floor of the walk-in. So everything was sealed up nice. I used this, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but you can get it at any home center, preferably not Home Depot or Lowe's, but a place that actually sells uh, roofing material. You can get a real high quality clear roofing cement for like 10 bucks a tube. The diamond plate is going to vary who you get it from, but I think we use like an eighth inch gauge for the floor and a sixteenth inch gauge for uh, the wall and threshold. And they bent it up exactly the way I needed it. I didn't have to do anything. I guess that's about it if you have any more questions.